guys, it's Ashley. I'm here with a skincare review. I feel like it's been forever. So this is a bunch of different products that were sent to me from Ren. Um, if you've, I've reviewed so many of their products. I think they're wonderful. Um, so the first is from their, what is this line called? The Ever Calm or the Clear Calm. It was like a travel type theme that I got the box in. And then this came separate. This is their Perfect Canvas Primer, but they kind of reformulated it, I believe. Um, so we're just gonna do a quick review. I'll link to each of them below. Um, I don't know exact prices, but I'll put that all in the description. So if you're curious, so first we'll just do this one because I have kind of, I don't know if I reviewed this on my channel, but I did on my blog. This is our perfect canvas clean primer. So this is silicone free. Um, it's uh, made with all like natural packaging. It's all glass. It's very beautiful. So what is, else does it say here? Aga it has agave extract to smooth skin and delivers a matte finish. It has a probiotic extract to aid surface cell renewal. Alpha glucans to support healthy skin microbiome, which is really interesting. Um, and then the the packaging used to be like a white glass bottle. Now it's this red, and I think it's really pretty. I think it has the same smell. I don't remember. I've been trying to use up a bunch of different. Pri I have so many primers. Yeah, it has like a powdery, like almost like a cloud, but everything in their products is natural. So it's not like a fragrance. They're not adding fragrance. It's all like, it kind of has this. So then it kind of lays down. I do like this one. It's really nice. And it gets to, like that nice tackiness to it. And it just, it smells like a cloud. Like, I don't know how else to say that. So um, in this one, I'll read off the in ingredients. Where are they? Are they here? They're down here. A lot of it's in French. You gotta find the part with English. All right, number one ingredient, water. Then we have lactococcus, ferment, lysate, glycerin, maltose, capril slash capril glucoside. No, caprilo slash capril glucoside. Alpha glucan oligosaccharide. Agave tequiliano, because agave, I don't know if you guys know that, it comes from a, the tequila plant. Um, or tequila is made from agave makes sense you know what i'm saying um from the leaf extract xanthan gum perfume or fragrance so they do add fragrance i didn't realize that sodium hyaluronate sodium benzoate phenoxyethanol citric acid lactic acid sodium chloride glucose limonene and linanol those are both um i think like vitamin e type product uh, ingredients it does say here at the bottom though 100 natural fragrance parfum 100 natural so it's like kind of french kind of in english but Anyway, if you like a light primer, like if you don't wear heavy makeup, because um, sometimes you want a pore filling primer, this is not that kind of a primer. You're not going to get that kind of a, a finish or a result from it. It does lay down quite nicely and have a tack to it, um, just like any other a water-based type primer. It is not an oil. It's not going to blur anything or anything like that, but you are going to get a nice, if you are a light makeup lady, which I think most people that are into clean skin products are, um, this is something you wanna try out. Or if you're just trying to incorporate more clean products into your lineup. All right, that moves us on. Now, in these three products, I have a holy grail. All right, so I'm just gonna start off with the one that I doesn't work for me the most. This is a big, by the way, container, and I haven't used hardly any of it. I did try it out though. It's 5.1 ounces. This is their Clear Calm 3 Clarifying Clay Cleanser. I know that's a mouthful. It does have a really cool pump, I like this. Um, but it's a clay cleanser, and so it does dry you out a little bit. For me, it's not gonna work. If you have oily skin, this is for you. Um, so, kale and clay absorbs excess oil and impurities. Willow bark to help minimize pore appearance, and may blossom extract to keep skin clear. These are also, these are all cruelty-free, not tested on animals, all that good stuff. Um, this does have a nine month shelf life, so you do have to, it's a lot that you have to use up in a little bit of time. Um, no parabens, sulfates, detergents, mineral oil, petroleum, this is written really little, and I'm getting really old. Uh, synthetic fragrance, synthetic colors, TEA, DEA, uh, all these little things. Um, and then the ingredients are, oh, I don't have the box anymore, darn it. There's water, there's kaolin, there's ceteral alcohol, there's caprosilic glyceride, sesame indicum, or sesame seed oil. Uh, Ceteral glucoside, glycerin, benzyl alcohol, helianthus, or sunflower seed oil, uh, willow bark extract, zinc gluconate. Bisat. They put a lot of zincs in the things with the clay, I think, because it does it does something with the uh, chemistry of it. I know that was really professional of me. Uh, this is a organzen oil. 
salvia or sage oil, lavender oil, calendula, flower extract, lyptospirum scurpitriber oil, if you can understand that, tocopherol, which is vitamin E, uh, dehydroacetic acid, anthemis nobilis or chamomile flower oil, xanthan gum, lactic acid, citronellin, farsenol, limonene, Critigious stem extract, that means it's natural, <laughs> and glucose. Now, to use this, here are the instructions. Um, pure, fine, daily use cleanser that gently exfoliates and helps to combat the three key causes of breakouts and blemishes. Excess sebum, buildup of dead skin cells, and dirt without the harshness. To use, rub one pump between the palms and lightly damp hands. Gently massage onto face for one to two minutes. Rinse off with warm water. Caution, avoid eye contact, blah, blah, blah. So there is that. Nice product. Definitely not for me, though, for oily skin. Then we've got their non-drying acne treatment gel. I will be honest and say that I put a little on my hand. I haven't actually had... I don't get... I get, like, cystic acne. This stuff will not do anything for that. I, I should actually have my daughter, who's 12, use it, but I didn't think about it. It smells nice. It just has a really kind of a medicinal smell. It's kind of brown. It uses 0.5 salicylic acid, um, so you just—it's like a spot treatment. So that's a nice thing. I'll keep it on hand for us around the house, around the house. But you know what I'm saying. So this is not something that you're going to use all the time. It's going to be a one-time thing. That leads me to my favorite product, favorite product, favorite product. <laughs> this is the Evercalm Overnight Recovery Balm. This is amazing. This is if you have dry skin. Oh my gosh, oh, there's a hair in there. Ew. I'm trying to use it really sparingly. It has no smell. It's just like this, oh, it's like the most perfect. The hair is still on my finger, yuck. It's my hair, spoiler alert. It just has like, it's like almost like an oil and it goes on, oh, I love this. And I wake up and my skin looks and feels like I was in like a, I don't know, it's just magical. So to use at night, melt balm with fingertips and gently massage onto clean, dry skin until absorbed. Um, I don't, because I didn't keep the box, because I've been using it so much. Um, I don't have the ingredients list. I will link down below to each of the products, though. This is 1.02 ounces in here. It does last nine months. Obviously, it has the same claims that all of the products do. Parabens, salt, sulfates, all that stuff. But this, if you have dry skin, so wrapping it all up here. This is a great everyday primer if you are a girl like who likes light makeup and products that you know kind of have an aesthetic aesthetic that you like. Like these smells good. Um, if you have oily skin, this cleanser is really great. Otherwise, if you have dry skin, I would not go for this. Maybe normal skin. I don't know. I my skin is just has been it's winter, it's so dry. If you have dry skin, and you really want something that's going to nourish and give you all the love. This is it. Um, if you're looking for a spot treatment, um, I'll look at the price. I don't know what the price on this is, um, if it's expensive, because some of their products are a bit pricey. You're paying for that, you know, clean skincare thing. I don't know if it compares in, to other. I, I use these sorts of things so infrequently that I don't really have that gauge. Like the cleansers, obviously we all use cleansers. We all use, well, maybe we all use pumps, but in primers, but the spot treatment gel, I'm not quite as familiar with. Um, but I will link down below to all of those. I'll link to my full review because I am going to do a blog review on these. I just loved, really, 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 really loved this product. Anyway, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.